changed in what seemed like the blink of an eye for Alberta Conservatives when leader of the Wild Rose Party, Brian Jean, backed the unification plan late yesterday afternoon. It's an exciting time for the province, with even Jason Kenney, who's been leading the unity charge, expressing his delight at Jean's decision. A room full of excited PC and Wild Rose supporters even joined last night at the Calgary Petroleum Club where Derek Fildebrandt addressed Jean's announcement. There were smiles and handshakes all around in that room, but it seems nobody was more delighted than Jean himself when I caught up with him at the Blackfoot Diner at the start of a busy day filled with media appearances. Gene obviously took the time to think about his decision and I got to ask him about what brought him to it. Well actually um, right after the last election it brought me to it and I thought to myself how can we make sure that we don't lose the next election to the NDP government and that's why in November of last year I came forward to our members and I challenged our members at a very interesting time. I was just facing a leadership review at that time and I challenged our members to set aside our differences with the PCs and think about talking to the PCs and reaching out to the PCs and form one united consolidated movement consolidated movement going forward and and that's exactly what I did a month later in Calgary again asking them to to be aware and that I have my dancing shoes on and now we're over a year later I'm glad to see that we finally have a dance partner that might come to the table I'm very excited about that but let's be clear I've been leading this conversation since the last election and I will continue to lead this conversation because it's in the best interest of Albertans moving forward I also asked him about his relationship with Jason Kenney well, I've never had a feud with Jason Kenney. I've worked with him for 10 years in Ottawa. And, um, you know, I'm aware of Jason Kenney and what he's, his movement is all about. But I work for the Wild Rose members and I work for Albertans. And I, I'm going to make sure that I put forward the options that the Wild Rose has asked me to put forward. I, I spent the last six months in town halls right across the province. I hit every single riding outside of Calgary and Edmonton and most of them within Calgary and Edmonton. I listened very closely to Albertans. I listened to very attentively to Wild Rose members and they told me clearly that they wanted me to pursue unity and try as I could to bring one consolidated conservative conservative movement here in Alberta to be the strongest conservative movement in Canada and to make sure that that conservative movement won the next election and Brian Jean as Premier is what the plan is. And with Jean's decision to back unity he'll have to give up his spot as leader of the Wild Rose Party should Jason Kenney win the PCs over. So I wanted to know how he felt about that. Well certainly uh, the greatest honor of my life has been able to be the Wild Rose leader and I've enjoyed my time there but the truth is that this is about Alberta. This is not about Brian Jean or the leadership or sentiments that he may have about the Wild Rose Party. This is about the future of Alberta and Albertans and generations to come that need a good consolidated conservative government. There's also the issue of fighting between PC and Wild Rose members. So I wanted to know what his message to those that are still skeptical would be. The same message I gave to our members over a year ago saying let's set aside our differences, let's reach out, let's talk about the commonalities, let's make sure that we work together to, to eliminate the NDP from any possibility of forming government in the next election. That's what it's about and that's what I'm going to do. That's why I'm prepared to stand down to put my leadership to the side and run for a single consolidated conservative party moving forward and I plan on winning that race. I'm very excited about it and I think going into the next election it's very clear that it's time for the NDP to make the retirement plans well known because they will not have a chance but to retire after the next election. Brian Jean just made a very bold move and oh to be a fly on the wall in the room when Rachel Notley heard the news that he was putting it all on the line and of course Jason Kenney will certainly be a tough candidate to beat if it comes down to a leadership race between the two. We've seen him winning delegate after delegate and taking a surprise victory in constituencies that he never dreamed of winning in his own race for the leadership of the Progressive Conservative Party. For now though, Brian Jean seems content on doing right by the way of his membership. And even though some skeptics remain, I think that half the battle is already won. And that was done yesterday afternoon. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks so much for watching. If you like our free content, for only $8 a month, you can also get access to our full length shows. Click the link to the side and check out all of our options to get more of the content that you won't find anywhere else.